After being removed by the US from the F-35 project, Turkey has targeted 2023 as the year for the maiden flight of its unmanned fighter jet prototype. Selçuk Bayraktar, the chief technology officer of Baker, told Daily Saba that while the country's expulsion from the program may seem like a disadvantage, in the long run, it will yield positive outcomes for the domestic defense industry. Explaining the disadvantages of a system procured from abroad, in reference to the F-35 program, Bayraktar said such a system, which is managed by digital computers whose software we will procure from abroad, which we do not have full knowledge of, and which is a foreign mission computer and software that decides what the trigger pushed by the pilot will do or not, may expose us to serious restrictions in terms of independent use. Considering the possible usage restrictions and potential embargoes with a system that will be procured from abroad and has dozens of avionics, flight and mission computers that we do not have access to, the national combat platform will enable us to use it independently, he added. Turkey's state-run Anadolu agency reported citing an American defense official late Wednesday that the U.S. and eight other countries abolished an F-35 agreement inked in 2006 sans Turkey. The U.S. was unhappy and concerned with Turkey's buying of S-400 missile systems from Russia. Baker has produced drones such as Bayraktar TB2 and Anka that have been used in conflicts in Libya, Syria and Nagorno-Karabakh. Turkey's removal from the F-35 program has also forced it to accelerate its TFX National Combat Aircraft project, in which artificial intelligence serves as the second pilot. Turkish Aerospace Industries is taking charge in the TFX program. The MMU's engine will be ready in 2023 and the plane will be ready to fly in 2025. If they gave the license of the F-35, we would build two units per month. The important thing is the license, the intellectual property rights. Otherwise, we have the capability to make the F-35 right now, Temel Kotil, TAI's general manager told Turkish media last month. To keep its air force fleet strong while it readies its new aircraft, Turkey is extending the service life of its F-16 jets 8,000 hours to 12,000 hours.